Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. It's in the description below. Your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see on any Watchbox platform. Please reach out to me directly for pricing. Email tmasso at thewatchbox.com. Today, we're discussing a watch launched for 2022, not a limited edition, but destined to be limited production. IWC says it's only going to make 1,000 examples of this watch per year. This is the Pilot's Watch Chronograph Top Gun White Ceramic Lake Tahoe. So it is the Lake Tahoe version of the Pilot's Watch Chronograph Top Gun, and it is referenced 3891-05. So it includes elements of steel, titanium, and white ceramic in a 44.5 millimeter case. Thrown on my wrist, which is 16 centimeters circumference, I could wear this, but I think any smaller a wrist and you're probably no go. The timepiece measures 44.5 millimeters in diameter. It is 15.7 millimeters thick. And then from lug to lug, you can see the wingspan of this one across my wrist, 53.7 millimeters with a 21 millimeter spacing between the lugs. So you're gonna want a wrist of my size or larger to wear this. It's not heavy. No, not in titanium, sapphire, and ceramic, but it is big. Taking a look at the strap, it is entirely white vulcanized rubber. So you can see there's a little pattern on the bottom to hold it in place. And what appears at first glance, like it might be some sort of textile, is actually a form of molded rubber in a textile pattern. Rolling around to the opposite side, we have an IWC clasp. There are two versions of this watch, one in green, the Woodland, and then one in white, which is the Lake Tahoe. Well, the Woodland has a different case composition, and of course it's green. It includes a pin buckle. Lake Tahoe comes with a stainless steel triple finished deployment clasp. So I say triple finished because you have satination on the buckle, then we also have polish, and then internally we have media blasting. So this is a little bit more protection against dropping the watch than you get with a conventional buckle. The case is simple. Everything's a matte finish, it is white, and what can at first glance appear to be a scratch often is just material that's worn off onto the watch. Second to the sapphire, of course, the ceramic is super hard to the point that at about 1500 Vickers, if you do scrape against a doorknob, oftentimes what appears to be a scratch is actually the metal of the doorknob that's been rubbed off onto the ceramic, and there were actually some scratches from metal contact on this watch before I shot the video. I removed all of those so-called scratches with a pencil eraser. They were just material on top of the ceramic. Now you can see the bezel is stepped in, which is good taste because it creates a thinner profile. And then we have uh, polished steel hardware, and it is steel for the crown as well as chronograph pushers and pusher shoulders. We have a screw down crown here, 60 meter water resistance. The dial is simple, a traditional pilot's watch fashion. It looks like an aviation flight deck instrument from an old 20th century analog instrument aircraft. Very simple to read, high contrast, white on black. So this is a handsome two-tone of black and white, and that goes for the watch as a whole, not just the dial. As you can see, luminescent at the four corners with broadsword style hour and minute hands. Now the watch is a double quick set. First, there's a hacking seconds function, so I can stop the watch and synchronize to a reference time. I also have the ability to set the date and the day in the intermediate position. I should also say that the crown is remarkably sturdy, even in its setting positions. A lot of crowns and spindly stems want to move around a lot when you withdraw them. This feels really solid, inspires confidence. Now it's a screw down and the watch is 60 meters water resistant on a rubber strap, which means you can absolutely surface swim this watch with a screw down, a 60 meter rating and a water resistant strap, game on. Now, Top Gun, whether the original or Maverick would use this logo. A lot of folks think this is the logo logo of the United States Navy Advanced Weapons and Tactics Program that is colloquially known as Top Gun. In fact, this logo came from the movie. That's where that comes from. The case back is titanium, which is very light and also hypoallergenic. Underneath it is an IWC manufactured caliber 69380, or at the very least, it is an exclusive caliber for IWC. Uh, it is a movement that was designed as a drop-in replacement for the old 7750. So it is an automatic winder with a bi-directional pole-based magic lever winding system. It has a 46-hour power reserve. It has the stop seconds function. It has the double quick set. It beats away at 28,800 vibrations per hour. It pivots on 33 joules. It is adjustable 
tested in five positions, which is a chronometer and high horology standard that I'm happy to see here. And it uses a column wheel for function cycling, which is different from the 7750. That is a cam-based chrono. This has a column wheel. So while the 7750 cam in IWC spec was always very well tuned, this is even a little bit sharper to the touch. One interesting carryover, and I used to think this was a vertical clutch movement, but a little bit more research reveals this to be an oscillating pinion clutch, just like the 7750. That's a type of ultra precise lateral clutch that produces very little extraneous movement. So when you start up this chrono, you press and hold the chrono start lever, and there's very little movement. You can just start it up without any forward jump. And that's one of the features of an oscillating pinion. It's one of the reasons that the FP Journe chronograph monopoussoir retropant, the split second, uses an oscillating pinion. It's a feature he carried over from his Tortu mono pusher movement of the 90s. It produces very little extraneous motion and it doesn't produce the thickness that you get with a vertical clutch. This watch has lots going on. If you love the two-tone look, you want a more rugged case, or you just dig an IWC Pilot's watch that stands out from the crowd, reach out to tmosso at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details.